Сучасні очі, шановні присутні, family and friends. It's a privilege as uh, president of the board of directors here at St. Vladimir Institute to be here for the launch of Mikhailo Khrushchevsky's History of Ukraine Rus, Volume 10, and a celebration, of course, of the life of the late Honorable Mr. John Yaremko. On behalf of the board and staff here at the Institute, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to everyone here this afternoon. In a time where we witness so much tragedy as a result of Ukraine's history with its neighbors, it's important to acknowledge the centuries that led up to this point. As an academic facility, St. Vladimir Institute was originally founded based on our responsibility to our members and friends to educate, promote, and protect our heritage and culture, much of which is based on our history. Mikhailo Khrushchevsky's final volume in his History of Ukraine Rus details the dramatic situation in the Cossack state during the reign of Ivan Vikhovsky from 1657 to 1659, the Cossack Age, shortly after the death of Hetman Bohdan Khmelnytsky. Joining us this afternoon, of course, are members of our academic community who have a wealth of knowledge of this time in Ukrainian history. But we're also very pleased to host the launch of, of Volume 10, but we're also recognizing the life of one of our community's greatest supporters. The original history of the Institute and its establishment in 1963 can often relate back to the name Yuremko. The late Honorable Mr. John Yuremko was one of the founding members of St. Vlad's and much of his vision when the Institute came to be is still reflected in the way we, the directors and staff here at the Institute, manage our operations, our facility, and the relationships we have with our Ukrainian organizations across Canada. His accomplishments set such a great example of what can be done with an education and hard work, regardless of ethnicity or background, so much so that we established a permanent display in our front lounge area to act as inspiration for the students that call the Institute their home. It's a pleasure to see the Uremco sisters with us this afternoon, and I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to them and appreciate their attendance. We have Pani Jeanette Cook, Pani Lucy Migus, Pani Rosalie Uremco, and the, uh, their John's niece, Elaine Uremco Jarvis and Gary Jarvis. <laughs> 